Hey everyone, it's Sarah. I have another process video for you here. This is the fourth layout that I have made with my roundabout kit. And this layout is going to complement the journey layout, that one that's sitting on my desk right there. And I remembered as I was making that journey layout that my husband had taken pictures of some of the food that he ate uh, on his trip. And he doesn't normally take pictures of food. I do all the time. It's probably really annoying to him. He will literally order something at a restaurant and then say, do you want to take a picture before he starts eating? <laughs> I can't help it. That's just, it's what I do. So I wanted to make sure I document it because he liked the food enough to take a picture. So uh, I have four pictures there. So it's not going to be a double page layout or a double page spread in my album, but they're going to go together since it's from the same trip. So what I'm doing is I'm referencing my journey layout and I'm kind of choosing some elements that will go with it. For example, I have um, the branding strip, that simple story, the branding strip right there next to the pictures. And that has a little piece of the map paper that was on my journey layout. So that will help tie it in. I also have some arrows with maps on them and just things from the same chipboard that complement each other really well. And since I have four pictures here, um, I can't do a ton as far as, you know, putting them on there creatively. I just kind of have to put them in a square, which is fine, you know, it's simple. And uh, this chipboard is from Freckled Fawn and the that little green frame there says Field Notes, I believe, on it. And the stamp on the journey for my journaling said field observations. So that kind of helps tie that in as well. It's kind of got the, the same theme going there. So I'm using this, uh, the gray pattern paper. It's nice and neutral and subtle. So it's not gonna be overwhelming or take anything away from the pictures. And I'm actually not gonna mat my pictures at all. So they're just gonna go strictly against the gray. I normally do mat my pictures, but um, the background is subtle enough so that it can it can just be there. And I looked at some cardstock seeing if maybe I wanted to try to make it work, but it, it wasn't worth it. I didn't have a piece big enough anyway, so I was like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> just go with it. So I'm going through all my stuff seeing uh, if there's anything extra that I want to put on there. I don't think I do, though. I think I kind of get to a point where I'm like, all right, just put it down. It's good enough. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that bottom right right part there that I'm working on and the top left. And that's those are gonna be kind of my um, focus points. And I'm gonna do two teeny tiny clusters like right there next to the pictures to kind of help draw your eye right to the middle there. And I'm gonna layer uh, that that chipboard have that little frame and with the you are here circle as well and I had a black arrow paper clip on the um, the journey page so I'm going to bring one of those in here as well so that's another tie in there so I'm just trying to decide where I want all my arrows to go and uh, how I want to lay them so that they draw the best attention to the food pictures that look really yummy. I might be salivating over the pictures, you never know. <laughs> and um, I am going to think some more. I'm gonna think some more apparently. <laughs> and I'm still watching Vikings by the way. I got through the first season and now I'm on to season two and I think I'm two episodes into season two and holy brutal. Oh, it's brutal. It's good though. I am enjoying it. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot in this one, huh? Oh my goodness, did I really think that much? <laughs> Apparently I did. I was about to check it to see if uh, something was wrong with the video. Nope, that's just me. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so uh, on my journey, I also have those um, those black clouds, so I'm going to put a couple on here as well um, for just another tie-in. They didn't really have anything to do with the layout; just it was just another element that was on there that I wanted to um, to help bring them together. So I'm going to put this black paper clip right there on that chipboard piece that says Big City. It says Big City something. I'm not sure exactly. Big City something. Memories maybe. And I cut that the tail of that arrow off because I didn't really like how it was almost a U-turn and that's not really, it wasn't necessary for this layout. So I just cut off the tail end and now it's just a regular arrow. I'm going to bring in um, those silver stars as well. I love those things. And even though this is really simple, I do think about it a lot just because simplicity can actually be a little bit harder sometimes because um, you have to pay attention to more of the detail. You know, what details you do have on there, you need to really make sure you pay attention. And here I'm just making sure I have you know, the center of the layout because I want them to be centered directly in the middle. So I'm just making sure I have, you know, the six inches both ways so I can start lining my pictures up to put them down. I don't want them going on crooked. And those pictures, those are three, three and a half by five, I think. Um, if they were four by six, they would have covered the entire, you know, length. So if I have three or more pictures to put on a layout, I always go less than four by six just because they will take up a majority of your page. And I know the pictures are the focus, but at the same time, if you take up everything, then there's almost no point, you know, in trying to embellish or use pretty paper or anything. So, but the pictures are obviously big enough, you know, to still be the focus on it, even though they're a little bit smaller. I'm going to go ahead and get that little uh, strip of matte paper there, put on the bottom. And I'm going to cut the top part of that frame off because I don't want the entire frame. I just want the little bottom part that says field notes on it. So I'm just going to snip off the tip of that. and um, I don't use the rest of it on this layout. I put it... Uh, I put it aside so I have it to use on another project at a later date. I like the way the layer chipboard looks as well. It has dimension. I'm trying to use my ATG to put that on. Um, on that type of material though, it can be difficult to use the ATG, so sometimes I'll, most of the time I'll grab my little small just roller adhesive. I don't know why I didn't right there, but I don't know. So I'm getting those placed. So each little cluster there has an arrow and a cloud, and I like that. And these are from my stash. These are thickers. They're a teal color, and the font is called Ali, A-L-I. And um, I'm just going to use these for the... I'm going to use two different fonts in my title, but this one is going to be for Eats, and then I'm going to use some smaller letters, and I'm going to put England above it, so it's gonna, the title is going to be England Eats. I love that font. It's pretty. I think I have that in a few different colors actually. <laughs> and I am using Kelly Perky letters. Oh my gosh, can I buy stock in these? Like, oh, I love them so much. <laughs> and you get a lot on each sheet. You know, I have two sheets there of white and I mean, I'll still be using them for a while. I have gone through a lot of the vowels, but um, they're just, I think they're perfect. They're a really good size and they're thin and the font is really nice and simple, and oh, I just love them. Love them so much. I'm going to get those on there. 
And I started in the middle so that I could make sure it was um, definitely centered above the other one. Sorry about that. I had to stop the recording for a second. My little one woke up, so I had to go give her a little bit of comfort. I'm almost done with the layout, though. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, chipboard stuck down with the arrow. I'm going to put it on some pop dots because that arrow does uh, make it pop up a little bit. So I just want to make sure it's all even so that it's not uh, sitting crooked on the layout or anything like that. And put one pop dot at the bottom there. And I'm going to put some glossy accents right there where the arrow is just to help it make sure it sticks up at the top as well. I'm going to get that down. I'm going to put that third cloud up there right by the title. And I'm going to accent all the clouds with these stars. Oh, I love those stars. Those are from Basic Gray. Super cute, super versatile. They're metal, but they're all, they're, they have little um, adhesive. They're not really pop dots, but um, just little uh, circle adhesive on the back. So I'm going to do my journaling. And basically just, you know, what I said earlier, that he doesn't normally take foodie pictures, but he did on this trip, so I figured that was worth scrapbooking. <laughs> if he is impressed enough to take pictures, then they are worthy of the scrapbooks for sure. And I think that is it for this layout. I don't believe I had anything else on there. So it's nice and simple, but um, ties in nicely with the journey page, so they will go together in my scrapbook. I'm really happy with the way that they both turned out. I'm trying to remember if I add anything else. I don't think I do, though. I think that's it. I'm sure thinking about it though, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, I look at these arrows too, but I just think it brings in too much black and I don't want a ton of black in there, so I don't add any of those. Thought about it for a second. And I'm still thinking. <laughs> and taking one last look. And I am happy with it. So that is the layout. Here comes some close-ups for you. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.